Hello guys, welcome back to another Kotlin programming language tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use a secondary constructor in Kotlin programming language. I will explain how to use a secondary constructor with an example. So here I create a class called the person. This class has a primary constructor with the two parameters. First parameter is name, that is of string type. Second parameter is age, that, of, that is of integer type. Now, in this class, I'm going to declare another variable, profession, that is of string type. Now, I'll specify a default value for that variable. Now, in this class, I'm going to create a function. Now print the person information. Last information is profession. Now from the main function, I'm going to create an object of that class. I name it as person1 and pass the parameters. First parameter is age, sorry, name and second parameter is age. Now I'm going to call the function inside that class using this object. So person one dot print person. Now we can check the program output. So here we have the program output. So here in this class we have a primary constructor with the two parameters name and age. We have a third variable here and we have a function here. Now I am going to add a secondary constructor to this class. A secondary constructor always specified within the class body. You can use the keyword constructor for creating a secondary constructor. So now here I'm going to create a secondary constructor for this class. So I have to use the keyword constructor. And here I'm going to specify parameters for the secondary constructor. Here also the first parameter is a string value that is name. Second parameter is age that is of integer type. Here I need a third parameter that is profession. That is of string type. Now from the secondary constructor, I'm going to initialize the variable profession. So this dot profession equal to profession. Okay. So here we have a primary constructor and a secondary constructor. If the class has a primary constructor, you have to call the primary constructor from the secondary constructor. So here we have a secondary constructor, but we didn't call the primary constructor from the secondary constructor. So now I'm going to call the primary constructor from the secondary constructor using this keyword. Now pass the needed parameters for the primary constructor. Here the primary constructor need two parameters, name and age. So pass name and age. Now from the main function, I'm going to create another variable for the class. Person2 Person pass name, age, and profession. Now we can check the program output. Uh, we have to call that method. So person to load, uh, print person. Now check the program output again. Now here is the program output. So this is how we use a secondary constructor in Kotlin programming language. You have to specify this secondary constructor within the class body. You have to use the keyword constructor for defining the secondary constructor. I hope you understand the concept. Thank you for watching.